horses for this evening's First Division 1996 Jug Preview. Three-year-old Colton Gildings racing one mile, a purse fifty-seven thousand dollars. And from off the rail this evening is a son of the world champion Beach Towel, held by John Grant of Hornby, Ontario. Scott McKenney is the uh, trainer, coming in with a mark at Mohawk one fifty-three and one, earnings of five hundred and forty thousand dollars. Drawing the rail this evening, he is Jug eligible. Dave Wall behind Beach Ray. From post two is a son of the Ohio standing Falcon Elmerhurst, held by John Morris of Piqua, Ohio, and Robert Morris of Delaware. Dan Purdue is the trainer with a three old record at Hoosier Park, 153 and 4, earnings of $144,000. Coming in from Northfield Park, Ohio Sires, Eric Lunford driving Isa Tiger. And from post three is another Ohio bred son of Noble Land Sam. Home of the syndicate of Johnston, Morgan, Amakin, and Rowe of Ohio, Virgil Morgan Jr. training with a mark here at Decider Downs, 155, earnings of $15,000. He is jug eligible, full time Sam tonight, driven by Brad Hanners. From post four, a son of Log. Oh, by Ken Summer of Illyria, Ohio, Bruce Regal training. Coming in from Pocono Downs, he has a mark at Freehold, 156 and 3, earnings of $16,700. This Colt is Jug eligible. He is energy level, and he's driven by Dave Miller. From post five, a son of Albert Albert. Home with a bad, Bert Stable of Abingdon, Virginia. Roger Kellifer, the uh, trainer. With a mark at Springfield, 152 and 3, earnings of $96,000. The five is Bad Burt. He is jug eligible and he's driven by Roger Culliver. From post six, a base son of Abercrombie. Over the Brittany Farms of Versailles, Kentucky, Alan Regal training. A two year old record at Lexington, 152 and two. He's made over $360,000. Coming in from Yonkers in New York, he is jug eligible. Luke Olat driving firm belief. And we round out this field at night in the ninth race with a son of Abercrombie, along with the Peter Pan stables of Pepper Pike, Ohio. Brendan Johnson is the uh, trainer with a record at Decoin, 151 and 2, earnings of $131,000. He is jug eligible. He's driven by George Brennan Jr. It's the Wrath of Pan. There, ladies and gentlemen, is the first field, first division, the 1996 jug preview. The gate swings into the back stretch for the start. There they go. And uh, they're off, and that's the Ohio bred Isa Tiger who fires quickly for the lead from the inside. Uh, on the outside, Firm Belief is after him early in second. Further outside, uh, third comes the Wrath of Pan. Off the pylons, fourth, it's Beach Ray settling in five. Full time Sam at the rail and sixth energy level. The early trailer, two lengths in seventh is Bad Birch. Around the first turn, and on the outside, Ulat putting firm belief right of the front here. Eyes a Tiger letting him go for cover on the inside in second. The first quarter, a very quick 26 and 1, and firm belief now setting up the pace here. Leads a length and a half, too, but won't get much of a breather. Here comes Beach Ray, and Wall is underway, and Beach Ray surging to the front here, taking his bid for the lead, and Beach Ray now the new leader. Firm belief on the inside is second, and the Wrath of Pan is also now underway as he makes his bid for the lead. At the real eye is a tiger right there with the hunt in fourth. Full time Sam is in fifth, a half, 54 and one. To the back stretch they go, and on the front, it's firm belief. Two likes on the inside, and second as they swing to the back stretch. Beach Ray down the back stretch, and now settling in third, it's the Wrath of Pan. Down the back side, and on the front with a lead, it's Beach Ray. And firm belief, the garden spot trip getting a bit of a breather here. On the inside, the Wrath of Pan is chasing in third. Then there's a gap of three and a half, four lengths, two energy level, three quarters, one, 22 and two. Around the final turn and on the front, Beach Ray has a lead, but on the inside, Firm Belief is stalking the leader. And now to the outside, here comes Bad Burt from far back with less than an eighth of a mile to go. And down the stretch they come. Beach Ray clings to the lead to the outside. Here comes Firm Belief and the Wrath of Pan. And the Wrath of Pan on the inside surging here. Brennan with the Wrath of Pan getting up to win it. Here's the timer, 152 and two.
They're the first division of the 1996 Junk Preview. From post position seven, it's the Rathapan. Son of Abercrombie from the Seahawk Hanover Mare, Infinite Wisdom. Owned by the Peter Pan Stables right here in Ohio. Trained by Brendan Johnson. Nicely handled the night by George Brennan Jr. The Rathapan recording his fifth of the season, his second consecutive coming in from Decoin, the mile and 152 and a two fifths. Trackside to make the trophy presentation. Representatives of the Robbins Companies, members of the Little Brown Jug Society, and representatives from Augie Blevins Tour and Travel. Also the president and director of the Mid-America Racing Association, Mrs. Charles Hill.